Hello guys and welcome to Star Drive and um, I'm starting in the loading screen of the black box and combined arms mods uh, just to show you the uh, the version that I've uh, upgraded to uh, developers uh, the mod developers that is uh, continue to sort of squash uh, squash bugs and improve the game so let's uh, let's load up the game um, many games I wouldn't be able to do that because the loading time would be too long but um, this is uh, is very very quick to to load and the performance I've got to say is very good. Okay, so um, this is going to be a design episode and the first thing I want to design, um, as was sort of mentioned in the in the little trailer that I uh, put together, is I want to design and um, this is based on some of the comments I've had. So thank you very much, guys. I want to design a sort of um, kind of a listening post type uh, sensor basically so yeah 180k uh, let's take the the symmetry off so I bang uh, the sensors in there uh, obviously there's no power yet now I'm assuming let's just um, let's just test this uh, this out just quickly stick a reactor there so central range is 180k. If I get another one and stick that on, yeah, it's still 180k. So it is basically the um, the sort of you know the maximum sensor is the one that matters, and that of course makes uh, makes sense. You can't um, well, can you actually? Can you can you make a telescope better by sticking another one on the end of it? Mm, I don't think so. Um, not without fundamentally changing it. Anyway, that's enough about fucking telescopes, Ben. Um, so what should we do? In fact, do we even need a reactor? Or could we go with some solar armor? How much power does this thing need? Not very not very much. So we could give it just a little ring of um, solar armor. I don't think I want this to have any, um, any weapons on it. Um, we could put a little a little shield just so that um, if uh, you know if it is close to combat then um, it will um, yeah it can take a couple of hits but not too many and then the next thing I want to do is um, basically stick this structure on which I know you don't really want to use um, but this the whole purpose of this is to kind of be really uh, really cheap and disposable so we will uh, save that as uh, as listening post so it's just to give me more sensor coverage in my empire so not not too exciting guys but uh, oops I shouldn't have come out of that the next thing I want to do is more exciting and we're going to design our first cruiser so let's start with the engines, I think. Seems like a sensible place to start. And why don't we go with just the capital engines, I suppose. Uh, obviously, they're very expensive. Um, hmm. Should we put them in like that? And then we've got the option of perhaps... Should we go medium overdrive engines just for as much kick as we possibly can? Um, now then, power. So why don't we stick a big, big antimatter reactor um, in the middle there. Now this one is going to be um, what I called in the trailer the Athens class. So this I want to be basically a drone launcher, kind of a carrier. Now we could we could obviously fit some fighter baits on here, but I've already designed my two fleets with quite a number of fighters that are um, that are being built and replaced by our worlds as we go. So how many drones can we get on this bad boy? Let's um, let's go like this, okay? And we'll try and have uh, probably I'll need to put some power or something in the middle there. So let's not let's spread it out a little bit and then again like that so basically I want absolutely tons of drones um, 
In terms of defences, we'll come and have a look at that in a minute, I think. The things I also want are... Um, do we want any missiles? No, not really. I, I, then I want just loads of PD. So um, I think let's, let's use the symmetry on this. And um, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and two at the front. <clears throat> um, shall we? Shall we put some flak on there as well? I might be uh, might be going overkill on the flak now, guys. But uh, sod it. I want it to be impervious. To, uh, to missiles as far as I possibly can. Now then, I'm sort of, uh, there we go, that's what I want to do. I want these guys facing towards the rear, these guys covering that way. Yep, yeah, good. These guys come out that way. Sorry about that noise, guys. That is my dog, if you can hear it. He's, uh, he's yawning. <laughs> Sounds like a, a creaking door. Uh, but there's not much I can do to stop it. Oh dear, I didn't want to do that. Let's press Control Z. That is a very handy feature, I've got to say. Especially with me, who can be a bit clumsy with them. Um... Let's, uh, let's go like that. Right, let's, let's check out the arcs. It's uh, perhaps a little bit thin at the front. Um... Ah. So maybe we bring these that way. And then... Bring perhaps them that way just to give a bit more of an overlapping fire. Um, and uh, let's end that. Um, so, power. Well, I think, first of all, we can probably deal with a lot of our power requirements simply by going with the solar armor. Um, and let's just give the whole lot of it a little belt. Not too much. So that's powered up a lot of what we've uh, what we've got, but we're going to need more. So let's go maybe with this. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my dog yawning away. Um, so there we go. That's um, I think we're all powered up now, and um, we'll come to the ordnance in a minute. Speed, 491. Well, it, it's not going to be the fastest of ships, and, and that is not its purpose. Now, I do want to put a good um, a good sensor array um, to take the symmetry off for that. So take the symmetry off, uh, sensor array there, and uh, we'll come back to ordnance. I want a bridge. Um, so, do we... shall we use some conduits? I put conduits like that. Do they actually have to connect to the... Um, how do they work? Yeah, so they sort of spread out the power. If I go like that... oh, well, there we go. So why don't I do that? Is that going to be more efficient? Um, hmm. There we go, that sort of draws power, or can I just move the reactor? I can do that. And then one power conduit down. There we go, that's the, that's the most efficient way of dealing with that. So I think we need to obviously sort out shields, and I've kind of forgotten a bit about shields in my um, in my defensive setup. So what's the best in terms of shield strength? Uh, not a static barrier. Class 1 battle shields, I think it's going to be, but let's just double check. Yeah, class 1 battle shields. So we want one at the front, which is not powered, but uh, we'll get it powered. I think um, I need to have that one there. The, uh, the reactor here. The arcs will show me the shield protection, which is not good right now. So we want... Uh, one battle shield on either side there. Let's put the arcs on just so I can make sure that the protection is overlapping. Uh, yeah, let's bring this one down here. There's, the back is perhaps a little bit vulnerable, but 
I don't really want it uh, exposing its uh, its backside anyway. Um, let's uh, just take the arcs off for a second, and um, let's add more more solar armor just to get that shield powered. Oh, this gun is not powered actually. I could stick some solar armor there. That will that sort of is a is a bit of a patch job. Uh, so we need more power. Which is going to slow us right up down, I reckon, adding all this stuff on, but um, how's that? What's that design issue? Low ordnance time. Yeah, okay, well, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can live with that. Uh, now then, we need, I think, let me just double check that I've got everything I want. Um, yeah, I've no you know, sort of... Um, uh, kinetic weapons or anything like that on here, guys, because this is a um, this is a dedicated carrier. Um, is there anything that would be useful? I can't imagine these thrusters are really gonna do very much for us. Um. Yeah, so I think let's stick a bit more solar armor just to uh, just to bulk out some of the protection. Oh, I should have had the um, should have had the symmetry on for that, guys. Um, so we'll go along we'll go along here just to give it a belt. And um, actually, can I remove that now? No, I can't. It's just slightly out of range. Oh, actually, just press Control Z, didn't I? And that's all of that. So now let's go and um, go with ordnance. How much can I stick? Let's take the symmetry off, just because it is a little bit odd with um, the way that uh, things have worked out. So ordnance in there, and then we'll need to drop down to the small ordnance one. I'll stick the symmetry on for that. And I'll just take it off now. In there. In there and in there. So we've got a complete design, and um, I'm not being given any warnings other than ones which I'm not too concerned about. So let's uh, let's save that as the Athens. What's happened there? That was a bit odd. I think it's my keyboard. I think I need to get it uh, get it replaced. Um, now then, the next thing I want to do is to go with a kind of you know sort of a brawler in terms of ships. So the question is, do we? Do we use this as a temp? No, no. Tell you what, guys, we will. Um, let's just exit out of here, and then I'll just come back in. And, uh... Right. So let's um, let's now design the uh, the Sparta class of ship. So again, with the engines, let's go like that, and then we'll go medium ah, medium overdrive. With the power, let's just sit. Should we sit the reactors back a bit so that we know it's powered from the off? I think that's probably that probably makes sense. And um, this ship is going to be in in the thick of battle. Well, that's that's what it's designed for anyway. I think we'll go forward firing generally, but it's a cruiser, so it's not going to be too nippy on the turn, I wouldn't imagine. One shield enough? No, I think let's let's go with two shields up front so that we've got the front well well covered. And then for the the rest of the ship we'll we'll drop down to one shield, although is that actually enough for the Hmm. No, I think we do need to um, to double up the shields here. Let's keep them in the body of the ship, though. 
want them to be one of the last things that goes if it is going to go. All right, so we can... Is that a messy, horrible mess? No, it's all right. I think that's okay. Um, let's stick the bridge. Just one of them, please, actually. We'll stick the bridge there. Um, I'm not going to bother with sensors because the... Um, It'll, it'll travel with the Athens, so the Athens can uh, can do that. And um, obviously I need to put power, but I think let's go, let's think about weaponry first. And uh, is this is this finally the ship, guys, where I can have my auto tellerets, as many as them? Hmm. Show me the arcs. Can I pull these back slightly? Ooh, just about, just about. We'll risk it, we'll risk it. Uh, so, oh no. Hmm. How very vexing, how very vexing indeed. Um, so definitely we'll have an auto turret there. And uh, then auto turrets here that can fire. And there, I think that is that is one hell of a forward battery. Perhaps too much. Perhaps overkill, some might say. Um, and particularly because it may leave us vulnerable to fighters. And what's the? Oh, we've got these long mass drivers now. Um, Range of six thousand eight hundred. Gosh, that oh, that is that is better than the um, the auto turrets. Um, and how big are they? Oh, they're quite big, aren't they? Um, hmm. Yeah. Well, she's not she's not designed to be a, a sniper. I want, if anything, these sort of short um, shotgun type um, ones are actually quite interesting. But they are again just a bit long in terms of their um, in terms of the sort of the barrel. You know, it takes up quite a lot of space. I could have an auto turret for one of those. So how much? Actually, let's have a look. Two hundred DPS apparently with one of these short mass drivers. Whereas my auto turret two hundred fifty eight. So we'll stick. We'll stick with the auto turrets. And um, we want. Let's let's toggle the symmetry back on. I want definitely some flak at the front. I would ideally like some flak as well at uh, regular points. And now then, let's just flip these around because I want. Uh, I've, I've, I had a, had a frigate that was trying to retreat, and the, the missiles sort of shredded it. So if she does have to retreat. I want it to uh, to be able to get away. It may not be able to. It might be too slow. But let's. Um, okay, so we've got flat coverage there, and then flat coverage in the middle here. Absolutely love this arc display. Uh, now I want some more power. So. How far can I pull back the reactor? I'm going to put armor on here as well, guys, so it's not the only thing that I'm reliant on. Uh, I think we're good to go on power. Now, weapons. Do we have all the weapons that we want? Hmm. I just think... Let's have a look. What range of these rocket launchers? Oh, are they really going to be... Are they going to do much... Um, they're 195, cannot target fighters. Well, she's not a anti-fighter. No, I think let's keep all let's keep her totally uh, kinetic weapons, actually. Uh, ooh, now then. Hello. Hmm. If you're gonna have one of your ships. No, 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 no. We'll we'll avoid that. My strategy will be to clear the way for ground invasions by taking over the um, 
taking over the space surrounding the planet and then throwing as many marines as I need to. Uh, anything else, guys? Sorry, I'm just checking through to make sure I haven't forgotten stuff. I obviously haven't put ordnance, and it will need a lot of ordnance. So let's uh, let's queue up. Uh, take off the symmetry for these. Queue up ordnance storage along here. What does that give us? Ammo time, 179. Mm, it's good, but we've got room to improve it. Um, little ordnance. I could put armor along here, I suppose, like as a bulk but I think if the engines are gone, we're, we're buggered, really, aren't we? So, may as well make the whole thing one giant exploding uh, hazard. Uh, so, ordnance time, ammo time, two hundred twenty. I think that's that's be all right. Um, and now I want my armor, and we will put the symmetry back on for that. Ooh, I'll need to stick something in there. Um, maybe, maybe a bulkhead actually, rather than rather than ordnance. This is actually uh, some of you be like, why on earth is he using so much uh, power armor? But actually, I haven't researched any other types of armor. This is this is my strongest armor, guys. Uh, I'll stick a bit more ordnance. Is that right, or do we go with... what have we got? So, the armour has to be on the outside, as it's uh, designated by the O. Now, I could have some internal bulkheads, which is probably the way I'm going to go, actually, because we've got plenty of ordnance. Let's have a look at the information. Low target tracking. Well, that has been, that has been sort of uh, the characteristic of my ships so far. And uh, she's got a low warp speed, which likewise I've not really been too fussed about. And uh, okay, guys, that is the Sparta class of cruiser. So let's save that. Exit out of here. Now, um, I will just double check. What's the production line what like on Earth? Not too bad on Earth. And my other... My other sort of hub, and just just to, I, I got you know I got pretty fucking lucky with Rona. If, I, if I'm honest, I uh, this world guys, 16.2 billion people, which is um, which is very nice, uh, and not to be sniffed at, but it is nothing like the jewel of our empire, 34 billion people, absolutely phenomenal. The governor, I think, is already. Oops, sorry, I've just moved one of his things. Oh, he's already done it. He's already uh, constructed the planetary shielding as well. Good lad, good lad, because this is the this is one of the most important places. So it's got quite a bill queue, but it churns out bloody tons of production. So I'm pretty okay with that. And that little, little that little investigation was just to see whether I'm going to be taxing my industries too much by building these listening posts and no I think we're okay so let's just um, let's, I'm not sure exactly how far the coverage will will be but let's just stick them you know probably these trade lanes I don't need them actually because the the freighters will We'll do a lot of it. Let's uh, this system down here, and I do want I do want them kind of regularly spaced over here because um, that's where probably the cordazine will come from. I would think they're going to be pretty angry with me, um, and. Uh, yeah, Rona. Rona will probably have a um, sort of a station built on it at some point. So let's just leave leave it like that for now. We'll see how effective they are. Um, and um, 
Oh, one thing I do want to, to just comment on is one of the things that has been changed in this recent version was um, was was basically to to make sure that um, your fleets won't um, <laughs> won't commit the crimes that uh, that mine did uh, in terms of attacking. Uh, but they were in our territory. They were in our territory. To be fair. So uh, look, guys. I hope you've uh, hope you found the content. Uh, interesting if you have do like and subscribe and uh, i'll end this video here so that it's just a design one and get into gameplay and let the um i say gameplay obviously design's a massive part of the gameplay but you know what i mean i'll i'll let the video go on uh, the game go on rather in the in the next video and on, on that note thank you very much guys i'll see you next time